Genesis G80 Sport Review, Turbos Breed Sport into V6. Back when ordinary cars were pretty awful, all a luxury car needed to be was pretty good. Genesis, Hyundai's nascent luxury division, is cursed to be trudging up the long hill to luxury legitimacy at a time when ordinary cars are dang nice. And that includes a lot of dang. Nice Hyundai's being sold right alongside the Genesis vehicles in stores with big Hyundai signs out front. The new, twin-turbocharged 2018 G80 Sport is the next step up that steep incline. The G80 is the smaller of Genesis's two sedans that, if it were a Hyundai, and it isn't, would fill the slot held by what was formerly known as the Hyundai Genesis sedan between 2009 and 2016. In fact, the G80 is the same car introduced for the 2015 model year as the second-generation Hyundai Genesis sedan. The mostly superficial transmogrification into the G80 took place heading into the 2017 model year. This would be less confusing if the powers that be had chosen to name their luxury division after a different book in the Old Testament. Deuteronomy was available, and Exodus would have been a letter shorter. Leviticus might have been a reach, but even that would have clarified matters. Genesis's big challenge here is the sport part of the G80 Sport. Equation. The G80 is a sweet-natured car, but it has never been sporty. The G80 Sport is a leap of faith into the sports sedan unknown. To breathe the G80 Sport into existence, Genesis swiped the twin turbocharged 3.3-liter V6 from the larger G90, made it up to Hyundai's 8-speed automatic transmission, and planted both of them under the hood. Easy peasy. Genesis, and Hyundai, previously, used the same transmission with the G80's naturally aspirated engines, a 311 horsepower 3.8 liter V6 and an optional 420 horsepower 5.0 liter V8. As in the G90, when burning premium fuel, the twin turbo 3.3 liter is rated at 365 horsepower and a thumping 376 pounds to foot of consistent torque from a low 1300 revolutions per minute to 4500 rpm so while the turbo v6 gives up 55 horses to the v8 it produces only seven pounds to foot less grunt hits the torque peak at much lower revs the v8 needs 5000 revolutions per minute to hit its max and sustains that torque production over a greater portion of its operating range. Ain't turbos something? The ratios in the G80 Sport gearbox remain the same as in the 3.8 V6 and 5.0 V8 models, with 5th at a direct drive and 6, 7, and 8th all over drives. The turbo model also shares a 3.91 to 1 final drive ratio with the naturally aspirated V6 instead of the 3.54 to 1 ratio used with the V8. And yes, there's a manual shifting mode that can be controlled with paddles located just behind the steering wheel. Genesis projects that about 60% of G80 Sports will be sold with rear wheel drive. Wearing a price tag of $56,225, the rest will be equipped with all-wheel drive, and a heated steering wheel, for an additional $2,500. As a nearly one-spec car, all G80 Sports will be comprehensively equipped from the top of their panoramic sunroofs to the bottom of their P245-40R19 front and P275-35R19 rear tires, 